anything like me, you spend an awful lot of time on airplanes. But have you ever wondered what's going on inside the cockpit? We're here at the Delta Flight Museum to find out. This is the Delta Simulator Experience. It's the only full-sized flight simulator in the country that's open to the public, and it's housed in Delta's new flight museum in Atlanta. The simulator is just one small corner of the museum. Director John Boatwright takes me through a history lesson. This is known as the travel air. It carried seven passengers, and they had wicker seats in them. They were quite different than what you see on aircraft today. He also took me inside Ship 41, Delta's fully restored DC-3. And what you have, this is exactly how the interiors look in 1941. So everything in here was rebuilt as a labor by the employees, the retirees. Head through the wind tunnel from the propeller age to the jet age, and you'll see the other shining jewel, the Spirit of Delta. It's a 767 aircraft bought for the airline by its own employees. This is the aircraft the employees gave to Delta in December 1982. The company at that point in time had experienced a downturn, and so the employees wanted to give something back to the company, and that was in the way of an aircraft. Climb aboard to see 85 years of airline memorabilia, flight attendant uniforms, and airline-inspired toys. And when you're done, for an additional fee, you can take a seat in that simulator. My name is Tim Ferlingos, and I'm the exhibits manager at the Delta Flight Museum, and I'm here to welcome you to our newest exhibit, Delta's 747 Experience. This is the first 747-400 uh, that Boeing ever created, and uh, we're going to go inside and take a look at just what you can see. There's a whole lot to see on a 747, but I thought we'd start on one of the most unique features, the upper deck and the flight deck. Here we are, 30 feet up uh, in the air from the ground. This is the highest flight deck in uh, commercial aviation up here on the upper deck. Uh, the 747-400 required two pilots to fly, but on long haul flights, usually there'd be a crew of four pilots. Two would rest while the other were flying the plane and they'd rest right over here. In the original 747, this space was dedicated to lounge, but as airlines started flying these planes, they realized that they wanted it for, uh, for passenger seating. So even the 400 was completely dedicated to passenger seating. As you can see behind me, we made a lot of changes to the back cabin. Before we explore that though, I wanna show you the most unique space in all of commercial aviation. We're here in the nose cone of the 747-400, very unique space that comes to a point. Uh, what is really cool though is right about here is where the cockpit is, where the pilots sit. So everyone who gets seats up in front is actually in front of the pilots. The only chance you can do that in all of commercial aviation. Here at Delta 747 Experience, we left it as it was when it was retired with Delta One. So you can come and try Delta One for yourself. Mm -hmm. 